Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a frustrating issue that many TensorFlow users encounter. Our viewer is facing an error message that reads, BlazGem launch failed when trying to use TensorFlow with Keras on a GPU. In this video, we'll break down the specifics of the error message, which appears both when using a GPU and a CPU. Our viewer has set up their environment with TensorFlow, Keras, and all necessary modules, but still encounters this issue. Let's explore how to resolve it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. The error message you're encountering indicates a problem with the Blast Gem launch. This typically occurs due to issues with your GPU setup or TensorFlow configuration. First, ensure that your NVIDIA GPU drivers are up to date. You can download the latest drivers from the NVIDIA website. Next, verify that you have installed the correct versions of CUDA and QDNN that are compatible with your TensorFlow version. You can find compatibility information in the TensorFlow documentation. If the issue persists, try reducing the batch size in your model training. A smaller batch size can help alleviate memory issues that may cause the gem launch to fail. Lastly, if you're still facing crashes, consider running your code in a different environment or using a different version of TensorFlow. Sometimes, specific configurations can lead to instability. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. A user encountered the BlazGem launch failed error in TensorFlow, possibly due to TensorFlow allocating all GPU memory. They found that the suggested fix didn't work for them. Currently, it's not possible to limit TensorFlow's GPU memory usage through Keras JSON or command line options. However, switching the backend to Theano resolved the issue for this user. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To resolve the BlazGem launch failed error in TensorFlow, one user found success by closing and restarting their Python processes. They tried various solutions, including setting the CUDA environment variable, but faced issues due to version conflicts with Keras and TensorFlow. If you're experiencing similar issues, consider restarting your development environment as it may help resolve the error. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. If you're facing the Blas Gem launch failed error in TensorFlow, it might be due to a problem with your CUDA installation, particularly the QBLAS library. To 
check if your installation is faulty, run the sample program Simple Kublas, which is included with CUDA. If you don't have the samples, you can download them from GitHub or check NVIDIA's documentation. If the simple Kublas test fails, consider reinstalling CUDA. This is how I resolved my issue. Another potential fix is to rename the Kusis 410 DLL file to kublas 64100dll Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. A user encountered the Blas Gem Launch failed error in TensorFlow. They resolved it by closing an open session that was left running. To fix the issue, they opened the terminal and used a command to find the process ID of the running program. Finally, they killed the process using the kill command, which released the GPU resources. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing the Blas Gem Launch failed error in TensorFlow, here's a quick fix. This user encountered the issue while running prediction servers. Since they weren't training a model, the performance difference between GPU and CPU was minimal. They resolved the problem by forcing TensorFlow to use the CPU instead of the GPU. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.